Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is going to be a little pumpkin spice and pumpkin carving video. So, if you've been around since around this time last year, I believe, I tried pump a pumpkin spice latte for the first time. Um, I know, shocker. And since then, I haven't had one from Starbucks. I still sort of have had Starbucks spice pumpkin latte. Um, but instead of going to Starbucks and spending like four bucks on a cup, I decided to pick up some from Sobeys. So Sobeys is a grocery store here in Canada where I live and I saw that they had instant latte and it is from Starbucks. There are five packets inside here. Each packet fills up a decent sized cup, um, not necessarily on its own like the instructions say, which I'll get to in a second, but the way I do it, so it was about six, seven dollars. So in my opinion, you're saving a little bit of money and you don't have to go out of the house and uh, spend four dollars at Starbucks when you can just grab a package from the grocery store. So on the back it says it's pumpkin spice latte, latte made with dairy. So it says it already has dairy in it but I'll show you how I make mine to like really fill up that mug and get your money's worth I guess. Cozy up with the flavors of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves, creamy dairy, and Starbucks 100%. Arabica coffee inspired by our beloved handcrafted classic. So it, it has three steps. Pour into cup, add 248 milliliters hot water, and stir and enjoy. So I pretty well do that. Like I'll boil water in my kettle. I'll add about a cup of water just using um, one of my baking cups and then I will pour this packet here of pumpkin spice latte powder into my cup of choice and then I will add because it'll only fill a big mug like this about halfway when you do the cup of um, hot water to me the consistency maybe because it's like boiled water and like boiling hot water and not just like hot water like it says on there um, it gives like a weird looking texture and like to me it doesn't taste that great until I add the milk I tend to drink soy milk in my tea but whenever I'm trying new stuff, I stick to regular milk, but you can use any milk that you would like, really. Um, some flavors might taste different with the pumpkin spice. So with this and the added milk, it makes such a delicious warm cup of pumpkin-y spicy <laughs> latte and it's just perfect for this type of weather and perfect with pumpkin pie which is one of my favorites especially around this time of year I've always loved pumpkin pie and I've taken a liking to this pumpkin spice latte it's still quite sweet but I find it not as sweet as the ones from Starbucks and I tend to every once in a while like stir it a bit because stuff will settle at the bottom like when I got to the bottom of my Starbucks cup and it was just like a thick layer of like syrup or something it was kind of gross but <laughs> And I'm not sure if it's going to be right after I film this part or even another day, but John and I got two pumpkins, a small little round pumpkin and a bigger more oval pumpkin, and I'm going to design something 
and then we were we are going to carve them and clean them out and cook up at least some of the seeds, I think. We'll see.